Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mind Magic's UI Path uh, training session. So today we'll be talking uh, about this uh, UI Path uh, training program. And uh, before that, um, let's get to know. And I have a 3.5 years of experience and I'm an IPA plus machine learning developer. And I'm also satisfied in automation anywhere. That's one RPA tool as well as UiPath. That's another RPA tool apart from other technologies. So for this demo session, so for this uh, demo session, we'll be discussing about what is RPA and why RPA. So to start off, what exactly is RPA and why do we uh, you know, need it or why is it gaining so much of uh, popularity? So at the root level, RPA is nothing but robotic process automation, which means that we are trying to create robots which mimic human actions and perform what are the humans are performing on the system. So when I say robots, these are not uh, hardware robots, but these are software robots. So basically these robots are just like any other application that work inside your laptop and then mimic your actions. To give you an example, simple example, say every day morning, uh, you, are, you have to send some kind of a report so probably at nine o'clock to your boss and this has to be done every day, right? So instead of you daily logging into your system before nine o'clock getting the report ready and then attaching the document to your mail and then sending it, you can create a robot or a bot in short. It's called a bot. You can create a bot which will do the same thing and you don't even have to stay in front of the system. Sounds interesting, right? So this is what is um, RPA and uh, RPA industry itself has has grown over the years but right now we have got many many tools in the market and out of all those if you see ui path is uh, you know trending i would say or is at the top then comes automation anywhere then comes uh, blue prism we have got um, pega robotics and uh, we have got multiple other uh, you know tools uh, in the market right now and now due to this pandemic if you see everybody is you know is after cost cutting and you know rpa market has still grown further you know it has got a boost i would say you know every every other company is now trying to implement rpa and that is the level of reach it has got right now how do we create robots and you know how do we do this automation is going to be part of this uh, training session okay that is what we are going to learn we are going to do um, you know we are going to learn how ui path works the total uh, ui everything we are going to see we are going to create robots we are going to see it functioning we are going to see it mimicking our actions that we ask the bot to do one important thing that we have to keep in mind is that rpa is very rule based automation okay in the sense that whatever you ask the bot to do it will only do that of course these days if you see you know ui path or automation anywhere you know it's or or the other tools in the market they are bringing ai capabilities uh, into the tool yes it is still at a nascent stage but yes ai capabilities are also coming into rpa but predominantly if you see rpa is rule based so whatever you ask the bot to do it will exactly do only that right it will follow the set of rules that you are you are, that you are giving it to the bot now why rpa now this is an interesting question right because if you see in our day to day tasks, you know, most of the actions, you know, when we work or in the work environment that we do, they're all repeatable actions. Just like I said, sending a report or, you know, processing some kind of an invoice or processing some kind of a document, you know, these are all repeated actions that we do on a day to day basis. Now the question comes key. Why do we have to do it again and again? Why can't there be any software that does the job? <clears throat> This is how the question started and this is how you know RPA came into picture, right? So to do this UI path around uh, I would say 2005 or 2007 it came up with it, it started slow it, it came up with a software to automate the you know such tasks and then it grew 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 and now it has got even AI capabilities into it, right? So RPA why RPA because we need to save time. We cannot keep doing redundant tasks, right? We need to keep we need to cut the cost because now, if two people are, are are doing the same activity again and again and again, now what if you replace with a bot? You know, the bot is not going to cost more than what you pay to the person, right? So this is cost cutting for the business. And this is one of the main reasons why RPA is growing, right? And you can also make people do better jobs, right? Rather than just doing the repeated tasks uh, day in, day out, you know, which will also make them bore, right? RPA came into the market and then it just it just uh, you know 
it's just booming right now if i if i really have to you know sh- uh, show you in terms of how rpa is actually growing you know i will i will just do one thing i'll just you know in live i'll just google saying rpa market share right so if you see here market size it's it's around 1.8 billion dollars as of now as of 2021 and it is stated to grow to 13.74 billion dollars in 2028 right it's it's almost like a 32.8% um, growth rate right and if you see we are in 2021 and we are talking about 2028 and at least we are, we are we are hoping that at least for 7 years you know this market is going to you know still grow so there's nothing to be worried about the market not growing or it becoming stagnant so we know that the market is going to grow and we are confident that a uh, lot of players lot of businesses will adopt rpa and that's exactly the reason why you will have to learn rpa right yes there are various tools and out of them if you if you ask me personally yeah ui path is one of the uh, best tools that you can start with and later on you can you can uh, you know try to learn other tools as well of course mind magics also offers uh, other uh, tools in rpa for training so don't worry about that we'll start with ui path and um, i'll tell you why uh, you know i'll i'll also show you how ui path looks and uh, why ui path is easy to learn i'll also show you that so don't worry about that so next what exactly are we going to learn in this uh, ui path training right so before i go into you know this uh, this course outline or this course contents let me just quickly show you how ui path actually looks so that you'll you'll still be able to understand why we have come up with this kind of a uh, you know course outline right so i'm just uh, opening ui path for you right so basically this is how uh, a ui path looks right now don't get uh, you know confused by seeing so many icons uh, in front of you right don't worry about that we are going to learn each and everything it's going to be pretty easy if you see ui path you know it's a, it's a ui based right ui based interface so most of the things whatever you want to do if you want to click you just have to drag and drop and then of course i'll tell you how 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 we go about it but if you see most of the activities they're all drag and drop for example you want to work with excel you have got something called excel and then you have got various activities like read cell read cell formula read columns they're all drag and drop if you see right so ui path is is one of those tools wherein you don't have to code much right it's a very low code platform right and most of the activities that you're using you just have to drag and drop you know give the required inputs that you can see on the right side and then boom your bot is going to be ready right and this is exactly the reason why most of the people who are trying to enter the rp industry start with ui path correct because it's it's very easy if you see it's it's a ui based you don't have to code much right can you actually see anywhere where you can write some kind of a code right something like hash include stdio h that you write in c language no you're not going to do any of those things correct it's all drag and drop you just have to configure certain options if you see these are all check boxes it's almost like that you just click 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 and get your activity ready and then you are you are ready for your bot right and these functionalities yes these are all going to make your bot more uh, steady and it's going to help you build your bot so we are going to go through all of these options you know most of this uh, activities as well of course if a few activities i'm going to teach you few activities you are going to try it on your own because hands on is very very important right so not only excel we have got many other uh, activities if you see we have got computer vision also here that is the ai capabilities that i spoke about right that ui path is uh, introducing then we have got ui automation you know browser based sap you know we have got image recognition so there are there are a lot of things that you can do so that's one of those reasons you know why you'll have to learn ui path so now let's go into the course contents once and see how exactly are we going to learn ui path right so basically rpa ui path introduction going to take you through the tool and uh, show you how exactly the options are placed and why they are there you know and then the tool that i showed you right now that's called the ui path studio this is where we are going to develop our bots right and once these uh, these bots are uh, developed we are going to you know deploy it i would say or place it in a cloud environment that's called the orchestrator right which is actually there over here okay and um, you know 
ui path layout uh, scraping scraping is nothing but how do you how do you get the data from your uh, you know browser or website right those things we are going to learn here we are going to learn different types of recorders basic recorders web recorders right and uh, you know different activities i would say re framework exception handling of course you uh, you know exception handling you see at any of these places you are not going to code much okay so don't worry don't worry or don't get uh, tensed seeing so many things uh, written over here they're all easy i'm pretty sure that you would agree after this training so don't worry about that you are also going to do, uh, do some kind of use cases uh, and projects in between so as to uh, you know have you make your hands dirty right because you have to learn correct you know we are done with these kind of things we, are, we have some extra topics as well don't worry about that so we are going to learn what the types of workflows that are in place right we are going to do some uh, interview preparation as well so we are going to give, you know give you some important questions that you might be asked during your interview processes right so we are going to give you that kind of uh, interview uh, preparation training as well so just be chilled about this training don't worry we are going to cover everything that's possible and when you see the lab setup or what kind of configuration that you need for your uh, laptop it's, it's also pretty pretty low right you just need 8 gb ram that's just for you to have the you know bot work flawlessly right so any laptop desktop you know 200 gb ssd or you know 500 gb hard disk it's it's like more than enough so you don't need to worry about any of these things right and the setup is also going to be pretty easy just have a link directly from um, you know uipath website where you can just download the uipath studio and directly you can start working on it right and uh, as i said earlier we are also going to help you with your interviews uh, you know uh, we are going to conduct uh, mock interviews for you so that you are you are uh, ready to face the uh, you know actual interview right so you don't need to worry about not getting a job i would say uh, because you are already prepared to answer the same kind of questions that you might uh, you know get asked right you might be asked uh, during the interview process right now comes the main part that is uh, certification what are the certifications that can be done uh, in order for you to tell that you are ready to jump into rpa so with respect to uipath we have got two certifications one is the uipath rp associate certification this this is for those people who are actually starting off you know it's kind of a basic level certification i would say you just need a basic understanding of the tool and uh, you can you can straight forward go and uh, attend this uh, certification correct this is again offered by uipath so credibility of this certificate is uh, you know unquestionable right because the company which is which has developed the tool itself is offering the certification right so you don't need to worry about uh, you know the the market importance of this certificate so it's it's highly valuable and uh, you know once you've got this certificate definitely you know you're going to be looked into because every business that um, requires a rpa guy is also look, is also going to look into certifications right once you're done with that the next uh, certificate that you you need to attempt is the advanced rpa developer certification again from uipath only this is next level of uh, certification when compared to the associate level so basically this is taken once you have got good grip once you have got good project experience in uipath probably after 6 months you can do this certification right and uh, this is also going to be easy once you got a project experience you know it's, it's all going to be easy for you so you don't need to worry about uh, you know failing or doing or, or facing hardships while attempting this exam it's going to be pretty easy right this one is going to be pretty practical as well apart from the mcqs that you'll that you might be having in your first exam here you'll be asked to do some workflows as well right so don't worry it's going to be easy once we are done with all of this uh, you know certifications you know you're also going to be uh, getting a certificate from mind magics right uh, saying that uh, you know uh, you have completed uh, the training and you are uh, ready to go so this is with with respect to you know rpa the growth aspect of rpa a very brief of what actually rpa is and how mind magics is going to help you get into the market and start working on rpa projects right and the importance of learning a particular rpa tool in this case it's uh, ui path correct and um, you know the certifications that you can do uh, and and the topics let, let me take you through the topics once again so that it's you are very clear of what you are going to learn so in terms of uh, you know ui path offers you know various ways of automating a certain things either through the recording either through scraping either using the applications directly for example excel word pdf right and uh, you know 
for each of these activities you're going to have uh, you know for each of these functionalities you're going to have different different activities in place for you to uh, do the same so that is why if you see here you can see excel application scope you you can also see word uh, you know word related activities you can also automate google drive right so google drive related activities is also there and of course when you're doing something you have you have to also handle the exceptions right? that is where exception handle comes uh, handling comes into place you have got again activities for that right so so for various things you have got activities and uh, don't worry we are going to take you through each of these uh, things and uh, it's going to be uh, pretty easy for you and uh, okay so that's it now so thank you for attending this uh, demo if you have any kind of queries you can you know email at info@mindmagics.com or you can call to those numbers and uh, we would be happy to you know help you out right thank you